This is another great recipe for using that leftover Thanksgiving turkey. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make some real good southern cornbread dressing. Stay tuned! In a skillet on medium heat, I'm adding in some butter, onions, celery, and bell peppers, and I'm using a combo of green and red for a little color. Adding in a little salt and black pepper, cooking and stirring for about five to seven minutes or until the veggies are tender. Then I'm going to remove it from the heat and set it to the side. In a large bowl, I have some stale cornbread along with three pieces of white toast. The cornbread is really dry and crumbly and the toast will help add some texture and absorb the liquid. I'm breaking up the cornbread and tearing the toast into small pieces. Adding in my cooked veggie mixture and my shredded turkey, or you can use chicken. For the liquids, I'm adding in a can of cream of chicken soup and some homemade turkey broth. I may need to add more broth later, but we will see. Giving everything a good mix. For the spices, I have some black pepper, poultry seasoning, garlic powder, parsley, and a sprinkle of thyme. You can add the spices that you like, giving everything a good mix, and I can already see I'm going to need to add some more broth. I'm adding in a little broth at a time and mixing. I want my mixture to be a little soupy and pourable. My final ingredient is mixing in two beaten eggs, mixing in well just to incorporate. The mixture will be loose and soupy. Pour my cornbread dressing into a greased 9 by 13 baking dish and baking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 to 45 minutes. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and the equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. Meanwhile, I made some homemade turkey gravy. When you have cornbread dressing, gravy is a must. If you want to learn how to make gravy two ways, please check out my homemade turkey gravy video recipe. I will leave a link here and in the show more section below. It's been 45 minutes and the cornbread dressing is done and smelling good. Going to let this rest for about 15 minutes before cutting and serving. This southern cornbread dressing recipe made six to eight nice sized servings and probably would serve more as a side dish. You can scoop this out with a spoon or cut it into serving size. The southern cornbread dressing has lots of flavor with the cornbread, turkey, veggies, and spices. The inside is creamy and the top has formed a nice soft crust. If you like yours a little creamier, you could add a little more broth. This is the consistency that we like. Serving the dressing tonight with the homemade gravy poured over the top. This southern cornbread dressing heats up well and is great the next day. Just another idea for that leftover Thanksgiving turkey and cornbread. I hope you give this southern cornbread dressing casserole a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!